loaded with whiskey right off the boat. 500 cases, worth roughly $150 a case, in any one of the 30,000 speakeasies in New York City. $62,500 in each truckload, give or take a few thousand. And price varies with the many marketing factors. Like how many payoffs are made in getting the merchandise to market. The payoff car. Two trigger men toting shot and submachine guns, plus the man with the money. It's nearly the end of a night's work. Everything's going off as planned. Two months ago, a deal was made in Scotland for a freight boatload of whiskey, COD. 12 mile zone, Montauk Point, Long Island. Time set, October 8, 1928, 11 p.m. Clear beach, payoff. Clear highway toads, fix. 1,000 cases to be warehoused at a state near Jamaica. Caretaker to receive $1 a case. 500 cases to Brooklyn and immediate processing at number three cutting plant. Payoff car to stay through unloading in a state cellar. Unescorted truck is in no danger from separation point to cutting plant. Payoffs and fixes all clear. This was not part of the plan. Hundred cases times 125 bucks a case, 62,500. A lot of money in 1928. Bootlegging was big business. Hijacking was one way to get into it. The 18th Amendment went into effect at 12.01 a.m. on July 16, 1920. Yeah, the law that was supposed to make the country dry did everything but just that. It spawned a decade known as the Roaring Twenties, Jazz Age, the lawless years. Whatever it was the American people expected to get out of this noble experiment, I'm not sure. But bootleggers, moonshiners, hijackers, rum runners, Gangsters, racketeers, trigger men, and lawless corruption is what they got. My name is Barney Ruditsky, detective gangster squad, New York. Yep, bootlegging became big business. So it became my job to handle big business with a big stick, a nightstick. And there was more law in the end of this than in anything else. Yeah? I want to talk to the boss. What about, kid? You looking for your mother? No, me father. He's a no-good bum like you. <laughs> I'm the boss. What are you selling, kid? Bartlett Bond, right off the boat. <laughs> Where'd you steal it? How do you stand that stink? What stink? Blood and raw meat. Your stepfather's truck smells like a slaughterhouse. If I was you, I'd have stayed in an orphanage and waited for a florist or something. I don't smell nothing. Hey, cutie, you think maybe Waxy didn't believe you 100%? What are you sweating for? So we only believe 90%. What's he gonna do about it? You mean because your sister... Yeah. Had... He thinks Rosie makes a son come up. What he don't believe, she'll make him. Better. We're dead ducks otherwise. You'd have to be nuts to hijack Waxy if you weren't his brother-in-law. My brother-in-law drives a garbage truck for the for the slaughterhouse. Nobody's gonna hijack him. Wow, what a stinking stink. You think my, my step- What's taking Fatso so long? I think he was trying to sell a Brooklyn Bridge or something. It's taking. They won't pay you a price, so it's taking. You ask me, take the price for cut whiskey. 50 per in, hey? You hold out for 150, we're gonna wind up drinking it ourselves, you ask me. Nobody asked you. Okay, you're dealing, cutie, but if you ask me, I- Shut up, butcher boy. What, are you getting trigger happy? Well, what, what, you figure you're a big man, you shoot a man, so from here on in, it don't count, huh? That's right, from here on, it don't count. So don't you forget it. I'm dealing. You don't like the deck, you can get out. Hey, cutie. 
We've been like brothers our whole life. You, me, and Fatso like brothers. Anything you say, okay? He's got the gun stuff, huh? That was rough last night. Now these crummy joints won't deal. It's got me edgy. Put this thing away. So? So, same deal. Take it or leave it. They got their nerve. Fifty bucks a case. Stuff's worth ten times a lousy fifty. No use, cutie. This guy had me tagged for hijacked whiskey before I got through the door. So what's wrong all of a sudden with hijacked booze? It ain't rot gut like the cut stuff. I think they want to give the customers a break. <laughs> this joker said he'd give us a break. <laughs> Take it off our hands before we got picked up with it. Break, huh? I'll show them breaks. Come on, we're going to Hollywood. You're kidding. Am I? You flipped. Ain't it enough to knock off Waxy's truck? You gotta go play in this corner? We ain't playing. You gotta be kidding. You're gonna sell Waxy's joint his own hijacked goods? <laughs> hey, wouldn't that be a killer? <laughs> Manny link off fronts for Waxy. We sell him, the rest fall in line at legitimate price. You want me to sell Manny? You're chicken, fatso, yellow chicken. You let the small-time operator shove you around. I'll sell Manny. If Manny finds out you're Waxy's brother-in-law, and you got whiskey to sell, you can't make big time with small ideas. From now on, so help me, it's only big ideas. Come on, let's go. You tell them this delivery is covered by Waxy's fix. Think big, punks. Think big. Stop wasting my time, big shot. What's your deal? I'll let you have 100 cases for 10,000. How soon can you deliver? 50 tonight to balance in the morning. You're kind of anxious to make a sale, considering your uncle in Philly's only giving you commission. Not my uncle, a friend in Trenton. <laughs> okay. Hey, haven't I seen you someplace before? I've been around. Where'd you go before you come here? Nowhere. So how come you only got 100 cases? Is it all you could steal? Don't get too smart. You're gonna be sorry you get too smart. Okay, kid, let's level, huh? It's your nickel, you talk first. Cigar? Okay, so you hijacked the load. Probably right off the surf. I don't know whose, but uh, 10 minutes I can find out. This is your first independent job in the rackets. You've been running for some mob, and uh, you developed a taste for money, women, sport and life. You're cocky, you're ambitious, you're not afraid to use a gun. You just used up your nickel. Why don't you and I get married, huh? What happens when the honeymoon's over? Who keeps the silver? 50-50, all the way down. How do I know you won't cross me like you're crossing Waxy? Hey, I'm not crossing Waxy. Nobody crosses the big boy and lives. We're just setting up a little business on the outside, like a... A peanut stand outside Yankee Stadium. <laughs> right now, I change hats. I'll buy your uh, 400 cases. 500. OK, 500. Times 10 is 5,000 cases. At 150 per. Look, I told you straight, the stuff ain't cut. You're talking cut figures. For a couple hundred thousand profit, we cut. We cut? Sure. We just wanted the business, kid. You're gonna be a big bootlegger, kid. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? You ask me, cutie's thinking too big. Could outsmart himself. Stop beating your lips. He's smart. You think you could have cooked up that story how to hijack and come off? You think Waxy bought it whole hog? Sure. Perfect story. 
I can just see Cutie laying it on the line to the big boy. Everything's going perfect, see, Waxy? When this cop sirens us down, we figure it's extra shakedown. And I'm ready to give him a C-note. When he pulls a gun and has me cold with me hand in me pocket. Would have swore it was a legitimate cop. Who figures a cop to be hijacking? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, the part that kills me. Get the picture, Waxy. The driver makes a mistake of saying to the phony cop, you're the giver monkey with the, with the Vanny Higgins mob. The dumb driver gets wrong. Wham, he gets a slug into him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, then can't you see Cutie with his best tear-jerking look yeah. with those big black lives of his? What could I do, Waxy? Figured you wouldn't want your brother-in-law full of life. <laughs> <laughs> the, the way Cutie dragged Vanny Higgins' mob in, that was the bit that kills me. <laughs> you ask me, that's the smart part. Yeah, yeah, the Dutchman hates Vanny so much, he figures it's gotta yeah. be true. <laughs> hey, you ask me, Cutie could be stretching his luck. What do you mean, stretch? Well, selling Manny at Hollywood Club could be asking for it. It? What's it? Trouble, you ask me. Get it straight, butcher boy. Anybody ask you. You better forget you got a tongue. You talk, you fry, too. Cutie pulled the trigger on that truck jockey. But the law says we're all in the same boat. You punks just graduated from small time to major league. You made a sale. Yeah. And we made a partner. Look at that bundle. They all hundreds? What do you mean, partner? What'd you get us into now? This down payment on shipment of 500 cases cut five times. What do you mean, cut? Who's gonna cut it? For big dough, we are. We gonna open a plant? Yeah, now here's the deal. Manny's our partner for 50%. 50%? Right now, he thinks he is. But I'll take care of that when the time comes. I got it figured. Mama says he'll be home. He's a good boy. Always comes home. Good boy. Good for what? Well, how can you figure? My mother thinks I'm a bum because I didn't become a doctor or a lawyer. Curie's mother thinks he's a good boy because he always comes home. No matter what he's done, he always comes home. Good boy. So tonight, I hope we don't disappoint his mama. What happens, Barney? We wait? Hmm? We wait. morning, you two get started on getting the equipment. I'll make the deal with the janitor for the basement. You sure it's smart to operate a cutting plant in the building where you live, cutie? Yeah. The fumes are strong. Look, I'm not arguing with you. We're gonna do it like I told you. Who's gonna figure we'd be cutting in a tenement basement? That's smart. We go renting the place, why actually get the word? Right now, we cut in his mother-in-law's cellar. He'll never know. But the fumes, cutie, I, I don't the know. janitor doesn't know it, but he just went into business. Well, what's that got to Make do? Make it borscht. Between the rotten beats and the push carts on Delancey Street, no odor can touch. You're right, cutie. On Delancey Street, you smell only Delancey Street. It's perfume next to this truck. Drop me off on a corner. I want to pick up the papers if there's anything. waiting for me, Fort Radisky. We want to talk to you about a murder out in Long Island last night. I don't know what you're talking about. You got the wrong lead, Radisky. Come on, save your lives for the bucket. At 6 o'clock in the morning, we're not very bright, cutie. Now, come on, tell us again. All right, what's the name of the company? 
Long Island Produce Company. And what do you produce? Nothing. Keep talking. The company's a jobber and distributor. Yeah, yeah. What do you distribute? Fish and duck. Scotch and rye? Fish and duck! Sound like the needle stuck, huh, Max? Yeah, you want I should shove it over again? Nah. I want to see my lawyer. You got no right. Right? I'll give you oh, a right. Oh, oh. Come on. Take it easy. Let's take a break. Bill, come on in here. That gigolo knows who pulled the trigger. Sure, but he's not gonna talk. He's more afraid of the mob than he is of us. Max, I got a hunch, but I don't know how to go about starting a tramp crew. But I'm thinking the same thing you are. Cutie was in on the hijack? Sure. He smells like the kind of a double-cross his brother-in-law. You think he's got big ideas about getting a hand on? I wouldn't blush with the thought. I'd blush with mine. What? I think Cutie pulled the trigger. Let's try the shoe on, see how it fits. Let's. Why'd you kill him, Cutie? You going in business for yourself? What do you think Wacky's gonna do when he gets wise, huh? Look, I don't know what you're talking about. No, you had big plans, didn't you, huh? Truck load of whiskey, said you're rolling off for yourself. Be a big shot, you hijacked Waxy's truck. Killed the driver, didn't you? Didn't you? Hello, Rodetsky. Yeah. Yeah, oh, no, 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 he's all right. No oh, little headache, that's all, you know, from yelling, screaming, and arguing, that's all. But... Oh, no, come on, you know, we wouldn't do anything like that. No, he's not bad. Not half bad is what he's headed for. What? Okay, shyster, don't tell me. Let me guess. You got a writ. Come on over and get him. Yeah, leave him loose on the streets. You'll be doing the state a favor. A tip from a stoolie won't stand up in court. A hunch won't get you the right time of day. I didn't have enough to book Cutie Jaffe for disturbing the peace, let alone murder. Two months later, the rumblings were... Organization. Yep. You got a hand it, Cutie. We started with scratch, now we got an organization. You ask me, organization is malarkey. Cry, cry, cry. Weren't for Cutie, you wouldn't see a $20 bill your whole life. You want another card, Lunkhead? Hit me. Over. That's the third time in a row you sandwich me. Tough. What do you want, egg in your beer? Cutie says next truck we get, I'm going to drive. So you drive. Stop talking about it already. Lunkhead graduates from flunky to driver. Flunky. Flunky, huh? I'll show you flunky. Call off, hotheads. Cutie, cut both your throats, you're fighting. It must be Cutie. Open the door, Lunkhead. Keep baiting him, butcher boy. One of these days, he'll take some of that dirty skin off your eye. I'll cut my initials in him before he gets his hands on me. Payday. That's so? Butcher boy. Oscar, block it. Hey, boss, when are you going to let me drive a truck? Right now, Lunkhead. Deliver this to Manny Linkoff at the Hollywood Club. Don't have no yak yak. Just deliver it to him in person. Just say the honeymoon is over. The honeymoon is over. That's all. Don't answer no questions. Make sure nobody follows you back here. The honeymoon is over. The honeymoon is over. You guys are going to double the dough you got there next month. We just paid off our deadhead partner. You took care of Manny? I sure did. I just left my sister Rose. 
tonight she has a little talk with Mr. Big. At the right time, everything smoothed over. You didn't tell her about the hijacking. Yeah, all about it. How Manny Linkoff arranged to have the job done, and then made a deal with us to set up cutting plant. We didn't know nothing about the hijacking when we made the deal to cut for him. When we found out it was Waxy's hijacked goods, we squelched the deal. <laughs> you put the monkey on Manny's back. Yeah, Rose squares us with Mr. Big, and then we go on operating from there with, with your brother-in-law's blessing. You got a smart dealer you can't lose, if you think big. First thing, we got to open a cutting plant in Hoboken. I got arrangements to run over to Cuba and buy a boatload right from a distillery in Scotland. That'll take real cabbage. How are we going to handle it? Manny's cut was 100 G's. That'll handle it. You mean, you mean there was nothing in that cigar box but, but cigars? Now, what should be in cigar boxes but cigars? Manny ain't going to sit still for that. How long do you think Manny's going to be around after double-crossing Waxy? I told Rose, Rose tells Waxy, Manny never gets a chance to light cigar. <laughs> Fatso, you're going to run the Jersey cutting plant. Butcher, you're going to handle all the transportation. I got a mouthpiece set up to make a front on Wall Street for handling big fix and payoff. You're going to compete with your brother-in-law? Yeah. What about Waxy? With Rose in there, no problems. Rose merges with Waxy, we merge. One of these days soon, the big boys will be looking for me to merge. Yeah. Roditsky ain't here. Now, what's so important? Sure, sure. Give it to me. Who is this? Hello? Hello? Sergeant, put a tracer on the call that just clicked off Roditsky's phone. It's important, so hurry. Check back. Get me Ratner's restaurant. Ratners, Barney Roditsky to the phone, please. Yeah. Now that figures. Okay, thanks, Sergeant. Barney. Barney and Max. You just got a hot phone tip. QD Jaffe is marked. Yeah, no idea. Pay phone. Right. Right. Be right there. I gotta run. If you guys want me, I'll be at the blue room. Give me one cut for 50. One chance to get even. <laughs> you don't live right, fatso. You crawl with luck. When Lunkhead gets back the liver, after you give the bottles and sacks the treatment, plenty of dust and cobwebs. Give the suckers an even break. Let Lunkhead dry. You feel good, don't you, cutie? Yeah, I feel great. Hey, mister, you cutie, Jaffe? Yeah, what do you want, kid? I got two minutes to deliver this to you. Here's another. Thanks, Mr. Jaffe. Cubana Perfectos. Fifty cents per. Kitty Jaffe developed expensive tastes. Yeah. So did Fatso and Butcher Boy. I got a hunch they'll be happy to talk now. Bootlegging was big business. Hijacking was one way to get into it. Machine gunning from a speeding car was one way they got them out. <laughs> 